Hi, I'm Jeff Moore, Executive Director of the OK Pop Museum here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we started OK Pop doing a series of interviews with Oklahoma creatives. And one of our early interviews was uh, with the drummer Bill Maxwell from Oklahoma City. Bill had this amazing career and um, he was telling us about different Oklahomans that he, would, that he had worked with and that he had known. And uh, he immediately kind of said, well, you guys, you guys have already talked to Ernie Fields. And uh, we hadn't. And in fact, we didn't really know who he was. And so we went in and met him and he started telling us these amazing stories uh, that we really had not heard before. And what we learned was um, his father, Ernie Fields Sr., had this unbelievably amazing career uh, here in Tulsa um, on North Peoria. Uh, he had an office, he had a, a booking agency where he booked uh, bands uh, nationwide, um, had uh, his own big band um, that toured the country, and it was great because um, what we discovered was that he had this national following. Ernie Sr. Um, took jazz and, and he, he rolled with the changes in, in music in the, in the early 20th century. Um, you know, jazz and big band was, was very popular. Um, but then, um, towards the 1950s, um, rock and roll becomes popular. And so, Ernie Fields Sr. takes In the Mood, um, which was this popular big band song that was performed by just about everybody, and makes a rock and roll version of it uh, in 1959 and, and has a hit. One of the interesting things that we learned um, was that Ernie Sr. had a relationship with Bob Wills, and they were really, really good friends. Bob Wills advocated for Ernie's band to play at King's Ballroom, and so uh, the Ernie Fields Band was one of the first African-American uh, bands to play at King's Ballroom. And I think it says a lot about the power of creativity and the power of music uh, to bring people together um, in a time when uh, division and separation was uh, not only a culture practice, but it was the law of the land. So after we interviewed Ernie Jr., um, he told us that uh, he and Carmen had a collection of, of their dad's material, uh, but also some, some items photographs from the family and that they wanted to donate uh, those to us. So the Ernie Fields collection is a great archival collection that has uh, audio recordings of the band, uh, great photographs and, and posters of their performances all over the country. Uh, there's even a bandstand uh, that they used on stage. It's, it really captures a moment in time uh, for Ernie Fields' band here in Tulsa. So OK Pop's mission is to collect, preserve, and share these, these collections. And so that's uh, why the family donated uh, these items uh, to OK Pop. And, and we're honored and we're flattered and we're looking forward to, to sharing this with people from around the world. Yes, I'm going back to Tulsa to get my women in line.